Coming up, Motorhead Garage finds solutions to some common problems, like how to create a paint booth out of thin air, how to get off the line quicker, and how to remove your top in no time flat. Welcome to another edition of Motorhead Garage presented by Top Coat. You know, we have a great time here in our Borla studios from week to week, but every once in a while, it's nice to hit the road. And we did just that last year when we headed down south to visit a few good friends. We are deep in the heart of Texas at the headquarters of Mobile Environmental Solutions just outside of Dallas where these folks are making portable paint booths like this. And now Tom Williams is here and he is the president of Mobile Environmental Solutions. Thank you for having us down. We've seen you in the studio and it's, uh, it's good to be Texas, here. Dave. And thank you very much. Absolutely. That's all he needs a hat, right? That's all you need. It's a big, big 10 gallon cowboy hat. Cool. I love it. This, this place is it's pretty amazing. We've had a little look around. Tell us what you do here at Mobile Environmental Solutions. Mobile Environmental Solutions was designed to help people increase productivity and efficiency. Whether it be the do-it-yourself painter, whether it be the, the person that's doing minor body repairs, whether it be the U.S. military that needs to do work outside in the Middle East. I mean, the, the uses are, are unlimited. If you need a clean room and you need to set up in conditions that may not be correct, all you need is a couple of 110 power outlets, and we've got you covered. So you're not just for somebody who needs a paint booth. This is not just for painters, right? No, I mean, it, it goes as far as, as car washes, details, ceramic coatings, it needs a clean environment, window tint. I mean, the, the uses are truly unlimited. And you have a lot of different sizes, a lot of different models people can use, right? Absolutely. We build them as small as a 12 by 12. Those are the hobbyists, the guys doing airbrush, guys doing you know home remodels, doing cabinetry work. So you don't want to turn around and do a makeshift paint booth in somebody's house. You set this up outside the driveway and, and do everything right there. That way you don't have to worry about damaging anything you know, in transport. To build a big enough to put a patch of helicopter in, to do a semi, you name it. And this is not just for somebody who's a hobbyist. You, you can, sure, you can be the guy at home that wants one of these to, for some extra space, but these are also used professionally, right? Absolutely. I mean, predominantly a lot of our customers are using them on a daily basis, using them outdoors, using them indoors. They're made off, off of commercial grade quality. Commercial grade quality, but what does that really mean for durability? It means that the, that the vinyl's been treated to a product that has a fire resistance to it. It means that the, the panels are all replaceable. It means that it can take the beating of an inflatable that's going to be used every day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, and it's got longevity, not something that's a one time use or use a couple of times and you throw away. But when I'm setting this up, that takes a long time, right? And then I've got to worry about setup time and tear down. You'd be surprised. You turn around, you unroll it just like you would a mattress, you turn around and plug it in, and it's usually up in less than two or three minutes. That's pretty amazing. So it keeps productivity up, right? Absolutely. What are some of the things about your paint booths that set you apart from the other ones that are out there? The biggest thing is our patent design that's a true cross-flow positive pressure, where it allows the air to continue, not just at the back of the booth, but it's bringing in filtered air through two-thirds of the booth to the end. And that's what really sets it apart from any other inflatable paint booth on the market. So anybody can set up uh, some curtains around here or make a balloon or a bubble, but you guys, you, safety was really the name of the game for you, Absolutely, right? and that's what it was set up, was to create a safe environment that wouldn't necessarily be available to everybody. Not everybody has the, the space to set up a permanent paint booth that they're not going to use every day. We know how real estate's expensive. You can imagine tying up four or 500 square feet in your shop. If you're not painting every day that shop's open, you're not making money off that real estate. Now, who are some of the customers that you see using your paint booths? A lot of guys doing used car reconditioning, body shops will use it for overflow. They don't want to turn around and spray a bump or fender and tie up their big permanent paint booth that they're going to be doing complete jobs. That they need, you know, they need that big permanent paint booth to be handling their bigger, higher revenue jobs. And they'll use these for their for their parts and their overflow and stuff like that. Clearly it's a really cool product and I can't wait to see how it's all built and everything. One thing that stands out to me though is it's made in the USA. Why is that so important? Because we can control the quality. We control the entire build process from start to finish. And it just allows us to just put a just much better product out on the streets. We're taking a little field trip to the folks at Metro Dent. We'll tell you about that in a minute. In the meantime, I wanted to show you this. I grabbed this off the cutting room floor. It's a piece of material from one of the beams of the mobile paint unit. I have tried to stretch it, tear it, break it. It won't, it won't budge. And, and Tom, between using materials like this that are so durable and uh, the quality control, how do you, how many people do you hear back from that have a failure? That's what the, the, the failure rate is very, very minimal. Uh, we use a very high quality vinyl with a stop tear technology in it. 
And it's a very high quality made product. Cool, and that ensures that you, you hardly hear from anybody. It probably takes a major catastrophe. Absolutely. Yeah. Usually we hear from them when they need more paint filters. And these things are out in the weather all day and people are taking them up and down. So that's, Absolutely. It's a great endorsement for your product. Yes, sir. And now, Mike, you've been doing this for 21 years. You're in the paintless, paintless dent, dent repair. repair. We do minor collision, all sorts of things, but working with Tom and these units, it's best served in the paintless dent repair, hail estimation industry. And that's a huge business down here, and you've probably got a bunch of cars coming through these big Texas hailstorms. How is this brand new, first time on TV, how is this tunnel going to help what you do? This tunnel helps out in so many different ways from a PDR company's perspective from the beginning process with the estimation it helps with the insurance companies there's always a subjectiveness especially if you're trying to view a car outside or without proper conditions and that's always on every company's mind what kind of conditions were these estimates done in this is the ideal situation uh, because this booth is designed exactly like the lights that the PDR technicians are actually using to do the repairs so if you can't see it in here they're not there so basically what the lines do, again, it's very similar to what a PDR technician's using, is you're actually, it's not so much that you're putting light on the panel as you're creating distortion and depth perception. So that's kind of what the black lines or dead space in between does. So when you're doing a hail estimation, whether you're an insurance company, a PDR company or whatever, uh, there's a matrix that's used. So it's all categorized one to five dents, six to 15, 16 to 30, all the way up. But then also by dime, nickel, quarter, half dollar, and oversize. So by creating these lines and that depth perception, you're actually able to see what size the dents are in, you know, the majority of the dents are in that panel because all too often, uh, it's just natural for the human eye to naturally just see the bigger dents and miss all the smaller stuff. And I think that's what plays such a big role in the estimation process that having all these lines and creating all that depth perception allows whoever's writing that estimate to actually see all the damage. Well, Mike, we can see how this is better for you, better for the insurance companies, it makes it easier for your guys to work. So. Obviously a better job and customers are going to be really happy. Absolutely. It's very versatile. It allows us hey, to, you know, cradle to grave, start the process. Again, no matter what the conditions are, indoor or outdoor. But the nice thing is, if, if it's a slower day or I have the ability, uh, because I can set it up and take it down so fast, if I choose to work underneath this thing as a technician, rather than moving my lights around and everything else, I can sit here and do a full repair to this car because it is the perfect setting to do so. Well, do not go anywhere because we have a lot more Motorhead Garage presented by Topcoat coming up right after this.